The new Android 14 predictive back gesture implementation has a serious security flaw. So here it is. This is the Google Pixel 6a and right now we are running Android 14 beta 1. Now before you ask me, hey Manji, what is this predictive back gesture? Let me give you a demo first. So let us go into settings and apps. Now let us go to our home screen now if i open the settings app i am still in the apps section before android 14 that is on android 13 and before it would reset to the main page of settings so no matter what menu you were in if you go to your home screen and if you go into settings you will land up on the main settings page now because they are implementing predictive back gesture with android 14 now it remembers on what settings page you were on so let us say i go into settings of course android 14 beta having some touch issues now if i go into settings and then i go into security and privacy then i go into device lock then i say i want to change my device lock of course this is a pin i'm using for this video never ever use this pin so now i am on the screen wherein i can choose my new lock screen and i can also turn it to none and swipe thereby removing any security now let us say all of a sudden i get a call or something and i have to lock my device then i unlock my device and a friend asks said hey i want to make a call so here it is hey buddy go make a call but this person over here is a malicious actor now if i open settings i am still on the very same page wherein you have none swipe so from this screen i can turn off the pin this in my humble opinion is a very major security issue because it is remembering the previous screen or the page on settings where it was but it doesn't realize that the device was locked and then unlocked so it should not be on that settings page now of course i did try to replicate the same behavior on my iphone and see what happens so here it is this here is the iphone 14 pro i think i'm running ios 16.4.1 we are in settings and we go into face id and passcode of course i will have to enter my passcode over here now once i enter my passcode i am on this screen wherein i can turn off face unlock and i can turn off the passcode and other things let us go to the home screen now let us lock our device and then let us unlock our device so i do have to enter my pen one more time to unlock the device so here it is we are on the home screen now let us go into settings bam you see i am no longer in the face id and passcode section i am in the main settings page now let us try another thing let us go into control center go to the home screen lock our device and then unlock our device and see what happens so there it is we just unlocked our device and now let us go into settings so you see i'm still in the control center customization but if i go into the face id and passcode go to the home screen lock my device and unlock my device then i am kicked back to the settings main page so the iphone or ios is intelligent enough to realize that hey you were on the option wherein you can turn off passcode but you locked and unlocked your device which means something might have triggered that you should no longer be on this page i'll take you back to the settings main page now another thing which would be interesting to try is let us say i am on this screen and then i lock my device and then i unlock my device where do i land up bam i land up on the very same screen from wherein i can turn off my passcode let us try this same experiment on the iphone as well so here it is this is the iphone let us go into settings and then we can go into face id and passcode so we are on the very same screen from wherein you can turn off face id and your passcode let us lock our device and then we can unlock our device there it is my device unlocked but i am no longer on that face id and passcode page i am on the settings main page so yes android 14 predictive back gesture google does need to fix this major 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 security issue which they have